Hey guys, it's Will, nursing educator in Psycorsetta. Today we're going to go over the six best ways to study and prepare for your fundamentals of nursing class. First of all, congratulations getting into nursing school. That's something that is not easy to achieve nowadays. I am very happy for you. So you may be wondering what to expect with your fundamentals of nursing class. So fundamentals of nursing is typically your first class that you'll take inside your nursing program. Now you guys might want to write this down. Here's what to expect with your fundamentals of nursing. They're going to heavily go over safety. And really what's covered in fundamentals of nursing is a bunch of safety different mechanisms that you'll need to understand before getting into your other classes, such as a med surge class. So really before you even start diving deep into diseases and the pathophysiology and the nursing interventions behind it, this class is really help you prepare to understand the foundations of what nursing truly is. And being a nurse, you're truly just a huge safety worker in the healthcare field. So what does the class cover? Probably your biggest things that that fundamentals of nursing class will cover is number one, vital signs and assessment. So head to toe assessment as well. Medication administration, lab results and lab review. And of course, the standards of nursing practice and your nursing ethics. Prioritization in nursing is another big concept in fundamentals of nursing class. Leadership and delegation. But probably your biggest concepts that you'll need to understand in fundamentals of nursing, and most nursing students struggle with this at first, is fluid and electrolytes, dosage calculation, and perioperative nursing. And also, it's not just lectures. You're going to be in a skills lab. So you're going to have a lecture class, and then you're going to have a lab class. So you're going to go into a lab, and you're going to be checked off on various skills. Fundamental nursing really focuses heavy on head-to-toe assessment, vital signs monitoring, medication administration. So you're going to learn how to give a sub-Q injection, IM injection. They may or may not be doing a fully catheter insertion in there. And then lastly, they're probably going to put you into a clinical rotation. This will be your first clinical rotation, which most of the time it's in a nursing home but it just really depends on what your nursing program is and what it does. During these clinical rotations, they're really gonna test your skills out on how you do a head to toe assessment on real patients and how you check vital signs. That's usually a heavy concept for your fundamentals of nursing class. All right, so let's get right into these study tips slash study hacks for fundamentals of nursing and how you should best prepare for it. Number one, you have to organize a schedule. So best tip you guys could start with is download your syllabus and find out your exam dates for one, and write down and visualize what your exam dates are. And I want you guys to write this down. You need to segment your study time by note taking, note reviewing, practice questions, active recall, and then practice exams. With each one of those segments, I want you to schedule those times out before every single exam so that way you have a strategic plan on how you're going to pass that exam. The more organized you are from the get-go, the better off you're going to be. That brings me to study tip number two is you need to double down on your learning style. What does that mean? There's all kinds of different learning styles. You could be a visual learner, you could like audio, or you could be kinesthetic where you like to actually use your hands. If you don't know your learning style already, you can go to Google and find that out through various free exams. But I'm telling you guys right now, however you studied before nursing school, it's going to be different when you're in nursing school because that brings me to my next study tip. Study tip number three, you need to focus on learning comprehension and not just memorization. All of your other classes, most of it is pretty much memorization. If you memorize the concepts, then you're most likely going to do well in that class. But in nursing school, you could study and know everything, but you could still do poorly on your exams because there's something called this NCLEX style question. You see these nursing schools, they have to make sure you pass the NCLEX when you graduate. So their nursing exam questions are going to be just like the NCLEX style questions. So this is exactly why we segment our studying out by those five categories. So we do note taking and note reviewing. So that's your memorization, but you need to start asking yourself why. And the good way to do that is practice questions. You need to take practice questions immediately after you learn something. That is a huge study tip that you guys need to understand is that you need to take lots and lots of practice questions to really understand how to apply your knowledge that you know, and that will best set yourself up for success for all of your nursing exams. Hey guys, it's Wilker Patrick, nursing educator in Psycorsetta. I wanted to let you guys know that I will help you with anything you need at any time if you just send me a text at 940-218-4062, 940-218-4062. Let's get back to the video. Okay, so study tip number four. This is a huge habit that you guys need to do throughout the rest of your program, but really, if you start in fundamentals, you're going to be a master at it by the end of your program. So take notes, so do your note taking and note reviewing before your lectures. Not very many people know about this hack is that it's a huge game changer for how you are prepared for your nursing exam. So you see, here's one thing I wish I knew before nursing school. I went into lectures and I was relying on the nursing instructor. I expected the nursing instructor to teach me the content that I needed to know for my exam. 
Well, in nursing school, that's absolutely not the case. They're not going to teach you everything you need to know about the exam because quite frankly, they're going to be assigning you a crap ton of reading and a crap ton of chapters, and they're not going to be able to cover all that in your lectures. So this is what I want you guys to do. When they assign you a reading assignment, and of course that reading assignment is going to reflect on what they're going over in lecture, I want you guys to take your notes and review your notes, understand the concepts before you even go into lecture. Because what you're doing is you're treating lectures like a review course instead of an introduction. So once again, you want to stay ahead of the game in nursing school, and you do not want to fall behind in nursing school, this is the best tip on what you can do for nursing school and how to best prepare for each exam. Because now when you're in lecture, you can condense your notes even further down because there's lots of chapters, lots of notes. But when you're in lecture, you can study the lecture instead of studying the content like it's an introduction the first time. You're playing catch up already if you do that. So the best way to condense your notes, guys, is when they assign a reading chapter, you want to go to the objectives of that chapter and answer those questions, answer those objectives with the content in the book. I don't want you guys to read word for word because you're gonna get confused. It's just too much content. So if you focus on the objectives in each chapter, it's usually in the first one or two pages of each chapter, you wanna answer those questions, those objectives with the content, go searching for it. Don't be reading everything word for word. You wanna focus and that's why exactly you do it before lectures because when you go into lecture, you're able to pay attention to what's being highlighted by your lecturer and you are going to have a condensed note template ready to go to apply it with practice questions, do your active recall, do your practice exams, and you are completely ready for every exam. Study tip number five is standardize your notes. You need to come up with an organized way of how you take notes and how you best retain. And once again, it has to reflect on your learning style. So for me, I'm a very big visual learner, so I like to watch videos and I like to use flashcards. But standardizing your notes means that every time I take notes, it looks the same. It's organized and how I digest that information is going to be the same no matter what. And the more consistent you are with this, the better you're going to memorize what you need to know and the better you're gonna be able to apply it when you do your practice questions. One note template that you guys absolutely need for all of your nursing classes is a pathophysiology concept map, which you can find that in our website. If you go to the link below, it's a free download, no purchase necessary. And our last tip, study tip number six, is take two to three practice exams that are going to be exactly like your exam coming up. So if your exam's going over nursing ethics and nursing culture awareness, then you wanna take two to three practice exams that go over those concepts. If your exam is 50 questions, then you take two to three 50 question practice exams that are going to be exactly like your exam. That way you're best able to prepare and you won't be feeling as anxious when you go into your nursing exam. If you guys segment your studying out like that and you go through nursing school using all these tips, you're going to thrive in nursing school. You won't ever have to worry about your grades. Hey guys, first of all, thank you so much for watching the video entirely through. It makes our day if we know that nursing school got a little bit easier after watching one of our videos. If you guys like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel for more, and drop down in the comments for any more ideas that you need help with nursing school. If you want to contact me personally, it's 940-218-4062. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.